Robert Morris University is very much supportive of athletics and extracurricular activities simply because students who are involved outside of the classroom graduate at a higher rate. We happen to have the League of Legends varsity team where we offer scholarships for the best players we can get to come and participate uh, on our League of Legends team. League of Legends is a multi-online battle arena game and the objective is to destroy the nexus in the enemy's base on the other side of the map. When we started 38 students last year for our first year. They could earn a scholarship for athletic aid up to 70% of their tuition balance to be a part of the eSport gaming program. E-gaming is any sort of video game competition that's organized within teams or individuals for competitions. Holy dice now, that's gonna be first oh. blood. Who gets it? It's gonna be Bob Chin. There's this question that seems to always take place of whether or not it's an actual sport or not. It's an actual sport. There's a lot of dexterity that's going on with, you know, hand-eye coordination and response times. And some of these guys have the fastest reactions that I've ever seen. Our players for League of Legends here are as dedicated as any one of our traditional sports teams. And it takes dedication to be good. And we want somebody who wants to get better, who is serious about it, will put the time in, and has that discipline. The main skill that it develops is teamwork. We work on communication skills and uh, just teamwork overall. It's our job to work together to get better, and that's what's really important is, is teamwork. One, two, three, three, let's go! At Rob Morris, I think we, we try to say we want life balance, right? So you need to maintain your grades, and you have to have these certain amount of hours. Otherwise, you will not be allowed to play in the arena, and you can't participate on a team. Well, extracurricular activities play in a great deal. It definitely enhances the academic experience. It's a student's passion. He or she um, you know, wants to participate. It gives them an additional reason to come to class every day. It gives them additional coaching staff to look out for them. It gives him or her an additional group of friends. I see it moving forward, collegiately especially. I see it as like the NCAA Division I basketball in the early 70s. It was just sort of there, and now we know the Final Four is like a cultural event. We can see after experiencing it for a whole calendar year that it is really important to this generation, and I think that it's something that will continue to expand in the years to come.